What's up guys? I'm at the Dallas Car Show right now. I just came here, just flew in really quickly, and I'm feeling energized today. I, I've had a couple local shows, and I think I'm even gonna throw up a picture. I was not in a great mood, but I'm here today, and I've actually already made two deals. I bought some cards, and five minutes later, sold one of the biggest cards in the lot. So, really happy, uh, gonna keep it positive, we're gonna have a great day, I'm excited. All right, another potential bulk deal. Guys got a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, gonna check it out and hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can work something out. I'm trying to get out of here with zero coming in with one card. It ain't gonna happen, but that's it. What do you think? I have I have a number in my head of where I would want to be. I'd want to be at three grand. I'd have to pass on that bill. Okay. Do you have do you know do you have a number in your head? Yeah, I'd be looking closer to four for for all. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just for just for transparency's sake, um, I had it at like when I comped in, like it's not a perfect, but I had it at four nine, you know. So that's kind of how I got, I got to that number. Do thirty two fifty, and then give me a thousand cash, and then we'll be twenty two fifty. I can do that. All right. Oh, oh there it is. Nice man. <laughs> All right, guys, just locked in the deal. I think you saw it on camera. Thirty two fifty for all that. I, I think it was a good deal. I kind of like, my mindset going into this weekend is like I kind of had been feeling sorry for myself, but it's like, you gotta, you gotta take the risk. You gotta take the risk. So that's what, that's what I'm doing. I, I think it paid off. I got good stuff. It's like Curry Auto. That's, here's what I'm saying. The Curry Auto, the Anthony Edwards, and I think there was one other $1,000 card. So if I sell the three of those, I'm basically break even already and then the rest, the rest is good, so uh, yeah, we'll see. Big start, I did not expect for this to happen. I've been here for like two hours, but I'm happy. Finished the deal, just moved to Anthony Edwards, Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez, plus a little bit of cash for a sick Ronaldo Kaboom. Good deal with the boy at Locust Cards. Appreciate it, keeping it moving in Dallas, good deals. All right guys, uh, real quick before we get into the rest of the video, I did just want to say this video is sponsored by Golden Auctions. Check them out, they obviously have some of the nicest high-end collectibles, cards in the game, jerseys, they got everything over there. They also have lots, they have steals, they have deals, they have a bunch of cool stuff going on over there. So if you register using my link in the description down below, I'd really appreciate it. It helps support the channel and uh, yeah, helps us continue to do videos like this. So that's it, sign up for Golden and now back to the video. All right, what's up guys? We got a legend in the building. What's up everyone? Homie Castro. What are, what are we looking for today? What are we Listen, thinking about man, I am looking for, this, this whole event is beautiful. I am in search of a messy autograph, but I found myself oh. a messy contra number to nine, so I might have to negotiate here in a bit. There we go, I mean, hey, if we could do a deal with Castro, bro, <laughs> it would be an honor. I was telling him, we'll FIFA see. Ultimate Team, I think a lot of the guys, I have, yeah. I have a YouTube channel, yeah. a lot of the guys kind of got into it from that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, man, but now I've started collecting physical cards, right? Yeah. As opposed to digital cards, and I just feel like it has a different kind of value to it, so. A hundred percent, and I think that the fact that you don't lose everything <laughs> at the end of the year after, especially this exactly. guy, right? Exactly, He has a wild pack opening, so definitely everyone check him out. Love to see you get into the hobby, awesome, man. man. I really appreciate nice to it, bro. Thank you so appreciate much, it, man. Course. Thank you. Oh man, we we got we got the toughest negotiator in the game over here. <laughs> Good deals. Good deals getting done in Dallas. We should have done a coin flip for the content. <laughs> oh, all right, fair enough. You're a smart man. That'll serve you well in life. You can stick to that. Last comp on these was 120 each. Yeah, yeah. So let's just call it three. Let's just do the value for now. You know, so 360 value, 1400 value. So 1760 value. Oh, I'm sorry. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to get to that number on the Holland. Um, so we can just pull it. Probably not. Probably not. I understand where because that is the last BGS 9.5 comp. But then it'll just be hard for me to move. That's the best I'm gonna do, man. I can't because I I, pay, I I don't want to pay four hundred, but I'll do three hundred. Yeah. Uh, Where are we at? So. How much are these? So we're at 1400 value here okay. and 360 value right here. So 1760. So 2050, so that's 290. Let's say, let's say 2050. So yeah, value. All right. Is that cool? 
Yeah, I mean, 1760 plus 290, that's 2050. Well, I mean, it just, that's like, and, and it's, once again, it's just my opinion. Like yeah. that's the, that's the full comp on these. You know what oh, I mean? Okay, so I wouldn't, I, I don't think I'd be able to pay the, the full comp. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, I don't, I mean, on these, I just, I'm getting beat up so bad. I get that's it. That's the problem. I, I, I've owned, I've owned some of these too, and I got, I, I got killed on it, so. I know. How about I'll do it all for two? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you're being unfair. It's just like, that's like, that's what I think like the full value of it is. You know what I mean? And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to sell it. Like being honest, like that's what I'm going to do with it. So I have to have room on it for me. I mean, it's for, the thing, the thing about it, the World Cup coming, I mean, it's clearly, it's, this is the time. I mean, I it's down, it's going to come up. Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to come up. It's going to be a 6 9 Well, what do you think about with these two? Will we be able to work something out? I mean, if not, it's all good, but I just want to see. You said the worth was 600. No worth, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could do something like, like I said, I'm, I'm willing to work and I want to make sure it's the right deal for you guys, but like if you wanted these, I know you're not looking for trade, but we could do something where like we get it low cash. You, you know, you know, you kind of know what I'm trying to say. Like I give these to you and then you can just cover the, the cash of it. You know what I mean? So just let me know what you're thinking because then that would help me kind of get to this deal if I knew I had cash coming in from you that I could just put onto it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come to you. Oh, you got the uh, you okay. Yeah, let me know. I don't know. I think you probably just cash. It's like this is like and, and no pressure at all, man. But I was just saying like, yeah, it's good. I don't know how you guys operate, but I was saying if like, for instance, you wanted this card, we could w work out a cash number and then we just kind of like throw it onto there. So he doesn't yeah. have to end up taking any trade. You know what I'm saying? So here's, here's what I could do. So I, I could do this in 1200 cash or I could do 1600. That'd be. I'll take 1600. That would be, that'd be valuing that at like 400 bucks, which is cheap. That's less than the PSA 9 went for. That's fine. I'll do 1200 plus. All right. That's cool. Cool. Thank, Thank you, man. I'll, I'll trust you. All right, guys. So this might be my most active card show ever. I mentioned at the beginning, I had kind of been feeling sorry for myself. I've made a lot of moves. I don't know if they were necessarily the best ones, but I made some good ones. So you saw, I think I had the clip right before this. I bought that huge Messi and Ronaldo lot. And then I just made a trade. I didn't get it on camera, but I moved a good amount of those Messi and Ronaldo's, um, a Fozzi, a, a Curry I got. And then I traded into a really nice Kobe Bryant Topps Finest Green. I'm a basketball player, so at some point I need to get some nice basketball cards, and I finally got one. So I'm excited about it. Uh, the value, the values were good. I did like those Messi and Ronaldo's. I knew I was gonna be able to move them easily, maybe even just hold on to them. Um, but overall, I'm happy. We're making moves. That's what I came here to do. And you know, you kind of gotta. We risk it for the biscuit. We love it. It's funny if you if you look at the showcase right now. First of all, it's kind of barren because. You know, a bunch of stuff just got traded out, but I want to say like almost 50% of this is new from this weekend. And, and at the very least, if you count like the Messi and the Curry and some of the stuff I traded for, we got another Messi up there. Pretty much all this is like brand new. I walked into the weekend with like none of this. So that's a good news. Uh, I try to keep things moving, keep things fresh. Um, so happy about that. This is the this is the late night crew from yesterday. We were getting after it at trade night. Potential trade going down over here. Moving the mic. Giving them a clean sleep. For the jaw. There you go. And uh, Halliburton. This is this is live, so you know. No, no. <laughs> oh, that's dope. So this. So you your your collecting style is very unique. It's. The newest of the new F1, but then T206. Yep. You gotta yeah. tell us how, how did that happen? Uh, I'm just an eclectic collector, I guess. Formula One, I compulsively collect it because I love the sport, but I respect vintage baseball. So yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. And then we're doing it live over here. We're doing it live. You wanna do it? Mick, Mick for the Halliburton into the jaw. Yeah, you wanna do it? Mick Schumacher for this too. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good deals. Good. This is why it's this is why it's hard to vlog. I have to like here hold this for once. I got to do it all. I need three hands. Good to go. Tractor PSA ten. There you go. Let's go. Off of the mic. Good deals, man. Appreciate you. Vlog vlog inception. Vlog inception. We love it. <laughs> all right, guys. Another walk up. Guy has some really cool stuff. Velocity 101s, Gold Bellingham, Adiyemi. 
but we got the heat. Bellingham, one of one, super refractor auto. And then Makoko, rookie, one of one. This is fire. Got some really cool stuff in here. What do we got? Really a little Ronaldo auto action. Cool stuff. Hopefully we'll be able to make a deal on something. Yeah, this will probably be the main stuff. Um, you said you didn't you didn't have an idea. I have it. Okay. Um, let me you let me just. A, if you want to take a picture, do some comms. Yeah, yeah. You mind if I just do some comms right now? Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to like value that. You right. know what I mean? That's gonna be a tough one. These other ones so, I can. For this, I'm asking twelve five, man. Okay. Yeah. And this, I'm thinking twenty. Yeah. But this one, I had an offer for fourteen five about a month ago. Really? Okay. So I comped out the main ones I think I would be interested in. The Holland School, it's probably just a lot for me. Um, super refractors are cool, just honestly out of my price range, yeah. probably. Um, what I comp out? I know these are going to be tough to move. Yeah. Especially raw, right? But if you find the right person, it's... Yeah. But I feel like if it was graded, maybe. What do, yeah. what do you think this would grade? Mainly the centering is the main thing that finds me a little bit. And I'm not really, I've never really sent anything to BGS, but I was considering BGS. Might be worth a shot. I think you're, I think you're, you're pulling a nine more than likely yeah. on it. Okay. So these are, these are the ones I comped out. Just right. as I tell everyone to the best of my abilities, you know. Um, PSA nine did 550. Okay. So I had it at 400. At a Yemi blue, there was a direct comp, 200 bucks. Saka Kaboom, direct comp, 600. Sun Kaboom, 650. Bellingham, there was a 10 for 2.2. Gravenberch Gold, I couldn't really find anything. Yeah. There was like a black gold and stuff. I put, okay. it, I put it at 300. Herbert Hollow was direct comp, 624. Pedri, it was a green mojo, I believe. Okay. But I just put it there, 600. This one was direct comp, 400. Uh, the works I didn't call. So the total in terms of value that I added up to was 4.6 for these ones right here. That's the value. Or what I would hope to sell them for, rather. Right, I understand. Yeah. 4.6, huh? Yep. All right, guys, the camera died during the last deal, but I did end up picking up that lot. It had a lot of raw cards in there. Really, honestly, people always ask me, like, what am I picking up? I've been picking up a lot of raw cards lately just because the grading, it makes a lot of sense. PSA is getting pretty quick. I've spent officially way too much money, but uh, it's been a productive weekend at the very le least. We'll see how it actually turns out, but very productive. I have a lot of, like my inventory basically is brand new. Like there's a couple cars, still got some nice messies, but like a ton of brand new stuff. So I'm excited, keep it moving. Day's, day's definitely going well.